Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Melissa's Crafting Treehouse and to my paper crafting oasis in the trees. <laughs> I look out on a beautiful forest uh, in the other way, <laughs> and uh, that's how my studio got its name. So welcome, uh, whether you're joining live or the replay, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I have a super fun project today. I'm actually sharing a fun fold card and it's a fun fold that I'd never seen before. Um, one of my team members um, uh, named Amy, <laughs> she sent me a sweet, sweet card uh, after a little event that we um, got together for and uh, it's just love the card and love the layout. And so I have recreated and made my own version of her card. So thank you, Amy, for the inspiration for today's project. So it's a fun, uh, fun, fun fold. And uh, maybe it'll be new to you as well. Uh, and I'm super excited to share it. So uh, let's see. So yes, chime in, say hello. Uh, let me know where you're from. Um, hi, Donna. So glad to see you here. Uh, thanks for commenting and saying hello. Now, uh, I don't know about you guys, but we, ha my, me and my little family had a wonderful um, Thanksgiving. We went up to the mountains of West Virginia to visit our daughter, and we were with our other daughter as well. So both of our, our little nuclear family, the four of us. Um, if you're a newsletter subscriber, you might have seen the photo that I shared um, of us in the mountains. So we had a lovely time. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving as well. And, it, you know, it was a really nice break. Um, uh, for us and uh, just some great family time. So anyway, I hope it was wonderful for you guys as well. So um, I have got, let's see, a couple of announcements. So I'm going to, in addition to showing the project today, um, I'm also going to show you the products that I've received through a uh, product pre-purchase pre, pre that I was able to participate in as a demonstrator. Um, there is another pre-order that happens for all demonstrators starting on December 5th, so I'll get to order some more new products. But I do have some um, because I participated in the Stampin' Up! On Stage event. They are over here in a little box over here. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I thought I would show that to you guys today. So I'm going to show the project, and then I'm going to show you those lovely new products that I got. So. Um, that'll do at the end. So if you don't, for some reason, want to stick around and see the new products, you don't have to, um, but I hope you will as also. So let's get and start. I'm going to show you what's on my workspace. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Jan. So good to see you guys here. Welcome, welcome. So today I'm going to be using some retiring products. Um, this designer paper, A Walk in the Forest, is actually a special paper that Stampin' Up! is offering um, to us as demonstrators, and they're giving um, some fraction of the proceeds from sales from this paper to a charity. I can't remember what the charity is. I think it might be food and security related. I can't remember. But anyway, so it's going to go to charity. So that's wonderful. It's really fun paper. It coordinates has uh, with this uh, very cute stamp set, specifically um, this bear polar bear punch, which I love. And then it also coordinates with, um, I forget the name of the stamp set, but it has uh, some trees in it that you can die cut from some of the paper. So it's wonderful paper. So um, this bundle is retiring, the very cute bundle. It's been so much fun to play with. And of course the designer paper is, is retiring as well. So I am trying to play with any of my things that are going away as much as I can before they're gone. And of course, a lot of things are on sale as well that are retiring. I don't remember if that very cute bundle is um, on sale or not. And if this is on sale, I don't know if any of you guys out there know <coughs> if it's on sale, definitely chime in and uh, let everybody know. Oh, you liked the picture of my family. Yeah, I'm always not so sure whether I should share that kind of personal stuff, you know, my little family, but um, it was such a cute picture. We were all bundled up because it's really cold um, where we were. It was in the 20s and 30s and 40s some of the time, but yeah, super cold in the mountains, but also beautiful too. So anyway, glad you enjoyed the picture. Um, so let's see what else. Yes. And if you are joining in and you um, have friends that you think might like to see the paper crafting projects that I share, definitely tag your friends here on the Facebook post. Um, share this post with uh, with your friends. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Follow my Facebook page, like my Facebook page, all that good stuff. 
Um, and definitely subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. I'm actually getting really close to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I would love to ask for your help in getting to that 10,000 uh, subscriber mark. So if you have not subscribed to me on YouTube, definitely jump on over there and do that. You just need to look up Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. You'll find me there. Okay, so just a quick little look. So this is the new mini catalog that's coming up. And I'm going to show you some of the products in it. I can't actually show you the inside pages. It's illegal. <laughs> Stamp on it will let us do that. And then the celebration promotion, which is starting in January also. Um, I also can't show you inside of that. But I did get a few things from this uh, brochure for free. As a demonstrator, I was able to pre-earn those for free. And I'm going to show you those today, too, the ones that I was able to get. So there's that. Now let's take a look at the card. So first of all, this is the card that my um, uh, team member, Amy, um, sent to me. So check this out. I just, it's just fun, right? So it opens like that and then it opens like that. And then she wrote this really sweet note inside and it uses this beautiful paper, super simple um, kind of design, but it was just such a fun little surprise to have that multiple opening um, element to it and super easy to, um, recreate this um, with all kinds of designer papers or stamped images or whatever you want. So that is Amy's card. And then this is one that I actually finished. We're going to make a different version today. So by the end of the day, you're going to see three different variations of this fun fold layout. Um, hopefully I'm not still frozen. Donna says it looked like I was frozen. <laughs> so hopefully I'm not frozen anymore. Uh, anyway, so this is mine. And this, of course, uses that... Um, the paid designer paper, which whose name is, yes, A Walk in the Forest <laughs> that I'm forgetting. And a sentiment, the sentiment here comes from the very cute stamp set. And then you can see that this is actually punchable with the punch, the designer series paper. And then it opens like that. There's a little bit of um, Pretty Peacock in there. So that's stamped in Pretty Peacock, Peacock for a little decoration and, of course, a place to write. So there's my card. So, uh, so we're going to do a third version of this card in a different color scheme. And I'm going to show you how this card all comes together. So we're going to start with doing a little bit of scoring. Has anybody seen this particular fun fold before? Comment and let me know because I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 20 years <laughs> and I have not seen this fun fold. So that's part of why I got so excited because I feel like I've seen everything. <laughs> um, it feels like that sometimes because, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, but there's always more to do. And uh, so that's a good example of it. All right. So I'm going to start with my my card base, my big card base. This piece is five and a half by five and a half. And I'm just going to score it at one and a quarter along the left. This piece is, is also five and a half wide. I forget what the dimensions are this way, but I have it written down. And I'll show you that. I'm going to score that at one and a quarter. So those are, that's the only scoring that I have to do on here. And I've created myself a little bit of a template. Just I find that it's really nice um, if you have customers that are, um, you know, that come to your classes. Uh, my customers, when I show them something, it's really nice to have a visual. And then if I want to recreate a card, having a little template allows me to do it much more easily than going to the card and, and measuring and all that sort of thing. So I've created my little template here. So it's five and a half by five and a half, scored at one and a quarter. That's my garden green piece. And then this next piece here is five and a half by three and three quarters, scored at one and a quarter. And then I'm going to talk about these in just a second. And then I have a third piece that's four and a quarter by two. Now, this is what's going to create all those, the folding elements, um, the me mechanics of this. Hi, Melissa. Nice to see you. Oh, Sharon, you haven't seen this layout. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Um, Yes, it, it's a fun, simple fold. All right, Jane, you haven't seen it either. I know, and you've been staying for 24 years. So like, where has this layout been uh, hiding? <laughs> it's so fun to have new things to um, to make. So, uh, and just a little surprise, right? Having the surprise of the multiple openings is very fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold that over and burnish on the fold line, the score line. All right. And then I've got um, some pieces that are going to go on the front. Now, the way this all, wait, first of all, I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, so now if you create a template like this, and it looks like I'm frozen. Okay, here I'm back. Um, it's really handy to, if you um, prepare a template, so here I need to be making this cut. 
And if I, if I didn't have the template, I would be taking my ruler, where's my pencil? And I would be measuring down with my ruler one and three quarter inches, just like that says, making a little tick mark right here. And then I would take my ruler and draw a line down that spot. But because I have my little template here, all I need to do is just line that up and it should line up with the score line at the top, that corner, and doesn't line up with anything down there, but all I need to do is just draw a pencil mark. So if you teach classes, this is a really nice, convenient way for people to do this with a little less hassle than having to measure and use a, a ruler. So there's that. And then I'm gonna bring in my little baby cutter. I have this adorable little cutter that Stampin' Up! gave uh, as an incentive, a joining incentive some years ago. Can't remember how long ago, but um, it's perfect for this kind of little thing. So I'm just gonna put my cardstock into my cutter and I'm gonna line up my pencil mark with the blade, with the base part of the blade. And I'm lining it up so I'm gonna actually be cutting off the pencil. So there's that. And it looks like I cut a little more than I needed to. Hopefully that's going to work out okay. And let's try to do that a little bit closer to the line this time. All right. Okay. Put that off camera. I've got this. And then I've got that. Make sure I'm doing it right. Yes, I'm sure I'm doing it right. Okay, so now um, where I need my adhesive on this is this bottom rectangle right here. Okay, the bottom rectangle right here. It looks like I was frozen for a second there. So let's get some white glue. We'll do the white glue this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some in the shape of a rectangle. I'm going to lay that right on top. I want it to be so that the folds line up on the left. The white glue allows you to move it just a little bit, just like that. And there we go. There's part of our mechanism. And then last but not least, we're going to grab no, I just realized what I do there. Ha. I was too prepared here. <laughs> I put adhesive on the back of my piece when I only needed it on part of it. Silly me. Okay, so I'm going to need to remove some of that adhesive because I was. So I'm going to grab my little ad adhesive eraser, and all I really need is up until the fold. So let's see how quickly I can do that. It literally peels it back. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you don't have one of these adhesive erasers, they're a wonderful thing. I thought I was helping myself and I was actually giving myself more work. Okay. And then you get these sort of globs of glue, so you kind of need to pull it off. Okay. Pull it off of there. over off to the side and out of the way. When we do uh, the Maker's Mojo Creative Escape events, people tell us in that event they like it when we make mistakes. So here we go, making a mistake by <laughs> putting adhesive on where I didn't need it. So this is what not to do, right? Don't put adhesive all over this piece because all you need is along this flap. So let's just make sure that I have, it's not sticking out too much. It's still sticking out a little bit. So I'm gonna remove a little bit more and I'm just gonna put a little bit of white glue also, fill that in. All right. Yeah, and it's not sticking out, yay. <laughs> Press that on here. So now we have the construction of this card all set to go. 
And now we just get to decorate it and do all the fun stuff. Now this is hanging off just a little bit off that edge. So I'm gonna actually bring in my little cutter and just trim off what's hanging off the edge. See, that's oh, darn. I was trying to go through too many layers. Now I made a mess of that. There you go again. Making another mistake. I'm gonna do it on my big cutter off here to the side because I can it's a stronger blade for multiple layers. So there we go. I think I just trimmed off a tiny bit, so hopefully that's not going to mess me up with my layers, but we will see. All right. So now I've got these two layers here. So you see I'm doing a different color scheme from this one. This one is Old Olive and Garden Green, and then I've got a little bit of Pretty Peacock on there. And this other one, I just loved the bright pop of cherry cobbler in this paper. So that's what I decided to do on this one. So let's see if this is, if I trimmed too much down. Now I guess that's gonna be fine. Got a little bit bigger edge on the top and bottom, but that's okay. Since I trimmed off a little bit on the sides. So there's that. I did add adhesive to, the, to most of these pieces ahead of time just to make it a little bit quicker so we'd have time to show you the products at the end. Uh, let's see, hi Bonnie, good to see you here. Um, all right, so next up, we've got this next panel. And for this one, I'm using the same panels of designer series paper on all three sections, whereas on this one, I did three different ones. So um, they're each just a little bit different. And I'm gonna do a little bit of design on the bottom section, because this will be a little bit different from the last one. So um, that part will take a little bit more time, but it'll, it'll kind of spice things up a bit. And uh, so having the same designer paper on all three segments will It'll still be interesting because we're going to do some fun stuff down here. All right. So next up, I've got these panels. So there's a lot of pieces to this card, as you can see. Get that one on there. Okay. Now, there's one thing that I thought about doing that I need to play with now before I actually take this and attach it. So we're gonna play with it a little bit. I'm just gonna lay that in there for now. And we're gonna work on this bottom segment and uh, then I'll decide what I wanna do from there. Okay, so I have stamped and heat embossed the Merry Christmas from the very cute stamp set, so in gold. So I've got that nice little piece to have on there. And then I pulled in for this one, these um, handcrafted elements dies. These are retiring. And it's so sad because there's some really beautiful shapes in here. Um, the ornament, and we're gonna be using this one and this one today. Um, I love these layering pieces. I should show you, I wanna show you how those layer up. I do have a couple pieces cut here. So those two pieces, there's a, a detailed one and then this fatter one, and they layer one on top of each other. We're not using it on this card today, but I just wanted to show you, this is actually so pretty. I'm gonna be showing a variation of, of uh, the stained glass technique class um, using one of these. It's one of the little bonus material things that I'm gonna be adding into the class later this month. Well, actually in December, almost it feels like it's December. <laughs> not yet, but anyway, so we are bringing these dies into this design, which I did not have on this one, this earlier one. Okay, so we've got, and uh, we've got some pieces to play with here. I've got this piece from those dies, this piece that layers on top, I'll bring it over the white, looks like I keep freezing there. And um, I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of paper. And to start with, I'm just gonna turn that over. I'm gonna grab my sponge, my liquid glue, multi-purpose liquid glue. 
And I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back. And some of you have probably seen me do this trick. Maybe all of you have. I don't know. Put some glue on your sponge, just like that. And then I'm going to dab it on the back side of my little plant matter piece here. And it's just going to cover it all over with glue just a little bit. And you want to hold it in place so it doesn't uh, move around and get adhesive on the front side. And it's just a light layer of glue. So it's just perfect for laying down on your piece. I'm going to fold this over so any glue that's exposed, I don't accidentally touch it on something else. Has anybody else played with these dies? I just sort of sad that they're going away so quickly. And I think they may be um, on discount. So there's the um, piece layered up right there. Now, let's see. The other thing I was going to do was um, I'm going to attach a piece of this more dazzle gold specialty paper to kind of give my sentiment a little bit more, you know, oomph. <laughs> So I'm going to use some white glue because when you're working with glittery glue like this, it uh, doesn't, um, it needs a, a good bunch of stickiness for it to actually stick. So I'm going to use my white glue. Working on my silicone craft mat. So if it oozes out anywhere, it's going to get onto the craft mat and it won't stick. It won't make my work surface sticky or anything. I thought about putting the glue on ahead and letting it dry, but I think with the glitter paper, you really want it to be oozy so that it goes into all the crevices of the, the glittery surface and really sticks. So intentionally did not allow it to dry ahead of time. All right. So now I had this one here as an alternative, but I kind of liked the blue because once you put it on here there's so much of the garden green already that i just wanted more of that pop of red in there and the sentiment's going to go over here so it's going to kind of break up that red so that's what i had in mind for this now so that's where i am now and um i had some other things that i thought i would do and play with so that's what we're going to play with right now okay so where is oh yeah Okay, so I thought um, maybe I'd bring a little bit of a little bit more gold into this. So this is what I'm going to play with and see how it works out. Um, and what I had in mind was to wrap it around this piece. And I don't know if that's going to work too well, but we're going to tie it on there and just see what it looks like. Um, it's attached to a, a release sheet here, so. how that looks. I am doing a tiny little bit of live design here. The name of the dies again. Yes, handcrafted elements. That's what they're called. Yeah. All right. And I've barely had a chance to use them. So I just can't stand that. <laughs> All right. So now what I was thinking is maybe I would put this in here, but I wanted it to go over all the layers. I don't know if that really works, actually. I'm just playing. How do I get the gold in there? Because it, it can't be around the card base or around this front layer because it's got that angled cut. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> all right. Different ideas. So let's play with something else. I thought also maybe I could tie a little bow and put it onto the present. So let's actually snip off a piece. And I'm going to pull the filament out of the inside like I like to do. That little yellow filament. See it? tucked in there. 
see. It's, it's hard to reach. It's actually retracted in. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's the little yellow filament. Remove that. All right, so there we go. So let's tie a little bow, see how it looks on my present. You're welcome, Sharon. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> I'm in trouble with my bow tonight. Let's see if we can make that happen. There we go. Tiny little bow. I actually like making bows and most of the time when I have in-person classes, I often do the bows for people because there's a lot of people who don't like doing bows. Okay, so there's a little itty bitty bow. Let's see how it looks on the present. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this piece now that I've decided I'm, I'm not gonna wrap the cord around the card base. That's one less thing to leave undone. Isn't that paper pretty? It's so pretty. It's dark, but it's got those lovely pops of green. And I like this element on the card too, those little diagonals there. All right, so that would go here, would go here. And then I was thinking the bow could go right there. So that would be I don't know how I feel about it. I have to trim off the ends. Let's trim off the ends and see. And we'll attach the other pieces because that'll help too. We'll just start attaching things. So now I'm at the point where it's, do I pop things up? Do I not pop things up? Should that be popped up? I think we'll do the present flat on there. Adhesive. So I'm just going to adhere at the bottom. I think that works. Let's see if we want to pop up the sentiment. I think it needs to be popped up a little bit. But maybe we'll just do it with some layers of um, glue dots to make it more subtle. All right. My paper piercing tool. So I'm just going to actually grab three layers of glue dots at the ends of my rolls. <laughs> ends of two rolls. We'll do one more spot. And actually, wait a minute. Okay, well, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> All right. And then over here. And then we'll go ahead and just attach that. I'm liking that pop of gold. It just brightens the whole thing up. Okay, so there's where we are now. Let you guys see that. Okay, now I got this little bit I could use right in there if I want. It's kind of a sideways little bow. Now, there was another thing I played with and wanted to show you guys. Um, so I wanted to bring in some shiny red. So I grabbed these loose holly gems and sequins. These are also retiring. And it's got these really pretty shiny red elements. And the green doesn't work because it's shaded spruce, but we've got those little gold musical notes. Um, now these don't have adhesive on the back side, so it's a little bit of a pain. So, um, I thought of this a way to make it a little bit easier to work with them and put adhesive on it. So grabbed a piece of packing tape and attached it to a piece of cardstock. 
and um, well, I'll just show you how I did it on here. So I folded over the the edges like that and attached it to a piece of cardstock. Okay, just stay with me here. And then I took my um, little embellishments and I put them upside down on here so that they would stick to it because I couldn't get the glue on there because um, they were just moving all around. So that way, let me just do one so that it's a little bit clear what I'm talking about. So I would just go like that, grab my um, take your pick tool, pick up one of my uh, embellishments. I'm using a big one here because it's just a little bit easier to work with to show you. And then I would take it so that the bottom side is up. You guys can see that bottom side up and then just attach it to my, my um, tape. So it's sitting there face up like that. And then I took my white glue, my liquid glue and dabbed glue on each of the back sides of those little embellishments. Um, and that way they're not floating all over the place while you um, do what you need to do. And I put glue on the back sides of the little uh, musical notes as well. Um, why do I remove the center filament? Because um, with this ribbon, if you want, you can fray the ends. And if you fray the ends with the filament in there, you'll see the filament in there. You'll see that bit of sort of fabric-y looking thing. And I really like the look of the frayed ends. So that's why I pull out the, the um, filament. So thanks for asking that. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, Robin. <laughs> Thanks for asking that. Hi, Lorley. Yay, you're here. Good to see you. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so this, there's always an easier way. So there are some people who would just be like, no way am I bothering with putting glue on the back of these little embellishments. But if you stick them down to a piece of, uh, of packing tape, now it, it should work just fine. So what I had in mind with these was now, let's see if we uh, want to do this. So I'm just picked my big one up. It has glue on the back side that's dried from earlier. Let's see if we can get camera to focus on it. Is it focused? Yeah. So there's white glue in the back. And then I'm going to play around with placing them. And I can easily pick them up with my take your pick tool and just stick it down where I want it to be. So I'm going to play around with putting these um, on my little present, picking it up with my take your pick tool, pick your paper piercing tool, and I'm gonna arrange them on here and see if I like how they look. And it's really easy to just pick them up and move them around. And then we'll see if we have a place for the or for the musical notes too. See if we wanna play with that. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like how this looks, but I thought it would be fun to, to play with it and uh, it made sense. It was easier to play with it if I did this method of placing them down. Oh, look at that. That one doesn't look like the same size. How'd that happen? And you can see because the glue is dried on there, I can actually pick it up with my fingers and it, the glue is not going to get on my fingers because it's dried. Okay, let's see how this is. What are you guys thinking of this, uh, the red gems in the middle of my little flower? It might be too much. I don't know. I might have to sit with a little while and decide. So <laughs> there's my crazy bunch of red gems in the middle with the, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of pretty. I kind of like it. Now, uh, now the question is, is there a place for my musical notes? That one's fallen into the hole there. It's a little better now. Okay. So there's that. I also thought I could take them and maybe put them on the berries or whatever, but I uh, just wanted them to play with. Okay. So now these musical notes, of course, they're upside down as well. And I can pick it up with my finger. And let's see where we might want to put these. I thought about flanking the sentiment here. Or I could put them in other spots too. I don't know. 
chime in. Let me know what you think. <laughs> you like the bling, Donna? Yes. That this designer paper is a little bit muted, you know, so it kind of felt like it needed a little bit of, you know, spicing it up, you know, just a little shine. I don't know how I like those musical notes there. They're just kind of hanging out there in the middle of nowhere, but I'm just going to put them there and just see what we think. So there's that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's better just putting one on each side of the sentiment. See how those look. So this, uh, this tape trick, first time I've ever thought about this tape trick. And uh, hopefully it'll come in handy for something. When you have embellishments that don't have adhesive on the back, and you need to kind of get them in control. I don't know. So there's the um, sentiment with the musical notes on the outside. It might be a little too much. Don't really like the notes. Laura Lee, I'm with you. <laughs> Mary Beth, you, do you like the notes? Who likes the notes? Who said there's uh, good for notes? Okay, well, I, I don't know if I understand what that means. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, I can't decide if I like them. It feels like it's a little too much. And I feel like I have to have uh, three of them because that's my obsession is to have three of them. Maybe over there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm conflicted because I don't know if I like them or not. So I don't know about you guys, but when I design, I, what I'll do is I'll just... Um, you know, step away from it, look at it later if I don't have an automatic reaction. But I see other people are not really liking them. So I think I should go with that gut. <laughs> you could see the notes if the verse was, we wish you a merry. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Because then it'd be like a song. Okay, well for now, we're just going to take them off. And now I have these little notes available to me. And you could see because the glue was... Um, dry I was able to just take them off and do whatever I want with them and the other thing I could think about doing is using them on the inside so let's see about that because I do have an inside so I have this um just an inside panel here piece of white and a piece of the cherry cobbler I wanted to bring some of that bright cherry cobbler into the inside and so that'll go right in here, place to write a note. And maybe we could put a note or two on there. Let's see what that looks like. I love that I can just pick these up. Um, hmm, that might not be too bad. A couple of musical notes on the inside. It's not competing with anything. One on the top, one on the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> Mary Beth, you like the notes on the sentiment? Yeah. I, I'm not so sure. I kind of like, I like the, um, I sort of like it as is. There's a lot of bling with this gold um, dazzle paper. And then of course we've got the shiny rhinestones as well so that's there's kind of a lot going on there and then i also have the option of this little bow right in there but it's kind of bothering me that it's sideways it looks kind of odd to me so i think i'm gonna nix the bow also yeah it's not doing it for me <laughs> So I think that's what we got. I think that's my finished card. I think that's what we're going to stick with. I'm going to go stick with the, the bling, the little red in the middle of the flower, because I think that's kind of fun. And we got our triple opening there. Kind of fun, right? Simple, fun layout. Not too complicated. Not too much engineering. But enough to make it interesting. So there's the three cards. Yay. <laughs> I'll leave those there for just one second and I'm going to grab my um, the new products that I have to show you. Take a couple things off my table here. 
All right. Do you guys have a favorite, one of the three? All oh, just kind of fun. <clears throat> I actually have another one that I'm going to make um, that I'm going to share um, on Instagram as a reel. And it uses um, some of this same pack of designer paper, the A Walk in the Forest designer paper, but it's a blue and white color scheme. So um, stay tuned to see that one on Instagram. I might do a, what's your favorite among those too? You like the fold? Yes, it's uh, amazing, right? We've been stamping forever, many of us. And um, and uh, and it's uh, uh, new things. So fun to have new things always. Okay, so um, Sharon, you like the first one? Do you mean the first one over on the left or the first one, the one that Amy gave me? <laughs> Either is great. All right. Um, okay, so new stuff. <laughs> I am playing with, uh, oh, you like the Christmas card best, best, Laura Lee? Yeah, it's, um, well, I guess there's two Christmas cards. Which one? <laughs> uh, the left, you like that one. You like the bears, yes. It's kind of nice to have the variation in the designer paper from the on the three different panels. I toyed with that a bit. It was, um, but the bear just worked perfectly kind of standing there at the top. It wasn't too much cut off. So um, that's part of why I was inspired to do that version. All right. Okay. So new goodies. Okay. So you have lots of things that are going away. The retiring list is out and uh, there are lots of things on sale. Lots of things that are no longer available, unfortunately. The um, A Walk in the Forest is still available. I believe the Berry Cute bundle is still available. Handcrafted Elements is still available. So, available. so the things I showed tonight are still around. Um, oh, you like the one I made tonight, Jan? Yay. <laughs> so fun. I love knowing your preferences, guys. It's really fun. And you like the one with the bear, Donna? Great. <laughs> they all have something fun about them, right? So... Um, Okay, so quick quick announcements, right? The um, coming up, I have the Color Fusers blog hop this coming Monday. This is actually the color scheme for December. This is my very official little, you know, I'm planning for the colors. So pool party, orchid waste, fresh freesia, and the project that's going live on it's going live on Monday this coming Monday the fourth of December. I think that would be. Um, I did something really kind of out there. So it's uh, it uses adhesive in, in, a in a creative way. I've done a, a creative use of adhesives class, but this was even different from some of what I did in the class. Um, so stay tuned. Check back on Monday for the Color Fusers blog hop and that color scheme. Uh, it is actually a Christmas uh, scheme, color scheme. Well, winter, I should say. So it's a winter themed card in these colors. So um, that's a really fun one. So um, look forward to you can look forward to seeing that. Um, the new mini catalog and celebration brochure are coming out soon the pre-order for demonstrators is december 5th and i'm going to be doing um product shares again and there's somebody at the front door who's ringing my doorbell <laughs> they're not it's not going to get answered by me at this point anyway i'm doing new product shares and details are going to be available next week i'm working on the website for that the web page and i'm going to do a new sampler option so this is a, a new decision. I know other demonstrators do samplers. I have a, mine are going to be different again because I'm going to base it on my taste of a sweet um, sort of method. So the way I've just did it is you're going to, you'll get a tiny bit of uh, anywhere from a half to a fifth to a tenth of a pack <laughs> of things, designer paper, embellishments, ribbon, depending on how it makes sense to divide it up as sort of as small as I could divide them so that you can get, I think it ended up being 24 different products. Um, and it was around 50 bucks plus shipping. So it's a great way to get a little bit of a ton of different things without spending a lot of money. So um, it's going to be a fun new um, um, op option to, to offer people. Um, it's obviously work to cut it, to cut things up and divide them and everything, but I'm just going to try it out this time just for fun. And I will still be offering my um, regular product shares where you get more of a, you know, a larger amount of um, the items in a, in a given suite as well. Um, with the sampler option, it's, it's all or nothing. You do the whole sampler or you do none of it. So um, 
there are small quantities of each thing. So I'm trying to keep that manageable as far as how I do it. What else? Okay. And I mentioned before, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and share and um, uh, tell people, spread the word. Um, would love that uh, to get to 10,000 as soon as I can. Um, and the new mini Caligan celebration brochure are coming out. Um, I'm going to be able to order them the beginning of December. Anybody who places an order of $50 or more through me um, before December 4th and over the past year will automatically get those brochures in the mail from me. Um, so you can either place an order before December 4th if you haven't already. Um, there's also a way to purchase the two from me if you want. So for $5, you can get both of them. That includes shipping plus the two brochures. There's a link in the video description as well um, that you can... Um, purchase those and let's see product is coming yeah i'm going to go live for facebook next thursday um the 7th and there's a new free pdf tutorial in my newsletter that went out yesterday and another one that will go out um next week and actually the projects that i did last week so um the tutorial that went in this this week's newsletter was this you guys may be uh this may look familiar so that was two weeks ago i made uh this and i made this and then um, the one I did not finish was this one. If you didn't see it on my website, this is how I ended up finishing it. Just super simple with the sentiment down there and then a little bit of ribbon at the bottom. So those were my two weeks ago projects. So this, uh, the tutorial for this one will be live next Wednesday in my newsletter. So my little PDF tutorial update. Always got those coming out. All right, so last but not least, <laughs> um, the new products. So I'm going to start grabbing what I got over here. So I will have a blog post for this fun fold that will go live on Saturday. And this video will be live on YouTube on Saturday as well. Okay. Check this out. This is called the Layering Florals 3D Embossing Folder. It's a super deep, beautiful, detailed embossing folder. I love this. I can't wait to play with this. So this is coming to the new... January uh, to April mini catalog. This um, Hills of Tuscany. Okay, this is new coming in January as well. Should be interesting to play with that. Um, this one Stampin' Up! gave us uh, the people who participated in on stage for free. So uh, all these little planters and plants and stuff. And so that, that looks like it should be a lot of fun to play with also. Okay, let's see what else. So there were a couple celebration items. I'm going to save those until last. And I just, I didn't get a ton of stuff. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got. So this one is the, what is it called? Uh, Perennial Lavender Suite. So designer series paper. And then these lovely embellishments. Highland Heather, Gorgeous Scrape, and what's that last color? I am, um, it might be, I'm actually not sure what it is, but I love all of those colors. <laughs> those are my colors. Um, these beautiful die-cut butterflies. This is all part of the perennial, whatever I called it, sweet. Perennial lavender. That should be easy to remember. So let's look at these papers. They're so pretty. Okay. And yeah, these are going to be fun, fun to play with. Beautiful images, beautiful artwork. Love this one. This reminds me of the celebration paper from last year. I just love that. Love, love, love that. So beautiful. So, so much detail in there. Very pretty. Little butterflies in there. Love those tiny little itty bitty butterflies. <laughs> this is a pretty one too. Nice, very detailed. Love this paper too. That's probably my second favorite of the set. Can't wait to play with that. I love this one too. I hate when there's one paper that I love both sides. Makes it a conflict. <laughs> I to decide which one to, to use. All right, what else? Um, I got uh, several products from the Notes of Nature suite. So all these guys including this sort of faux leather trim. It's, it's kind of thick, but sort of supple. Should be easy to tie. And it's got this gold finish to it. 
very pretty interesting rustic kind of paper these little cork dots um, notes of nature I love this I love these sort of different elements great for collage type stamping so again you're gonna see something maybe more than one thing lots of things with this at some point I do love that and then the dies that go with it those are also notes of nature dies uh, let's see okay um, and then the the designer paper here let's see okay so what else okay so let's show you this paper this is a specialty paper beautiful beautiful detail mm. I do love this it actually has a feel a texture to it. it's like a raised part it's like heat embossed on the surface very beautiful paper I'm not blinding you this backside I could you could color this too that would be really pretty actually check this out it's really really pretty does anybody else love this notes of notes of nature sweet <laughs> this was a I gotta have kind of sweet for me Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is a vanilla bean. I think that's what I read somewhere. I can't remember where. And this has like quotes about nature. I was trying to read them. That it's very fine print. Also very pretty. And there's that. I think that is it. That is all that I got. But on December fifth, when. Uh, when we have the full pre-order. Oh no, I have to show you the celebration stuff. Can't forget that. Okay, so I got a level two item, which is this softly sophisticated uh, stamp set. And it's this is the coordinating uh, embossing folder, softly sophisticated 3D embossing folder. Looks like a really nice, simple kind of texture, which is my favorite kind of embossing folder, or well, one of my favorites. I love embossing folders. Um, Rob, Robin, you like the notes of nature? Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to be fun to play with. And then uh, the I got a celebration paper. This is gorgeous paper. I had a hard time picking which fifty dollar item to get because um, this just beautiful watercolored birds on this. Um, the artwork is just beautiful. So let's take a look at all the sides. This one is really pretty too. I looked at this and I thought, I want to play with paint watercoloring a, a bird. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? And that's a really pretty, just neutral. It makes me think of wallpaper, that back one. I don't always love um, the bird stamps that we have, but I do love birds. And when the artwork is beautiful, that's all I need. I fall in love. And every single one of these are just gorgeous, I think. Just so pretty. More fun to more fun playing in my future. <laughs> so colorful. The birds are colorful too. So there you go. So we got three celebration items. Well, one one hundred dollar item, which was the stamp set and the, the die, the embossing folder. And then one fifty dollar item right there. So fun, fun, fun. Love the free stuff. How can you argue with it? <laughs> All righty. Uh, you like the birds too, Melissa? Yeah, very nice. So I'm trying to refrain from playing with those things in favor of playing with things that are retiring. My Color Fusers Blog Hop project, the one that goes live on Monday is made with retiring things. Um, I use the snowflake, I forget what it's called, snowflake something <laughs> um, that is in the mini that's retiring on that. And I also used, a, um, what is it called, Joy? It's a, it's a sentiment set, Christmas sentiment set that's also retiring. So 
um, stay tuned for that on Monday. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and place an order if you want a catalog for me or purchase it. Um, and stay tuned for shares. Details on product shares and the samplers coming up next week. So um, that's all I got. I'll see you next uh, Thursday, same time, same channel, 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, for another fun paper crafting project and, uh, you know, more fun. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you then. Bye, everybody. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for being here. <laughs>